When you're trying to sort through your data and filter out cases that need special attention, you have the option of either doing what I call ad hoc filters, which are the ones you get when you simply click on the filter icon and it brings up a menu like this. But you also have the option of doing what are called filter views, which stay with the data and you can have multiple filter views. Let me show you how these are a little different. I'm going to click on new filter view. You have to click on the arrow to get those. And then you see the window looks a little different. We've got this black bar here and the column headers and row headers are in black. But let's do a filter view. Now what I'm going to do here is let's say let's get the first 10 cases. I'm going to come over here, click on this filter for ID. And then I'm going to say filter by condition, where the value is less than or equal to 10. Okay. When I get that I hit okay. And there we have it and see by the way that the rows now jump from 11 to 20. But what's interesting is I can save this filter, I come up here to where it says name, it says filter one, I just highlight that. And I replace that with, uh, let's call it the first 10 cases. And so now that's a saved filter. And if I come over to here, and click on this little side arrow, you can see it's saved right there. Now let's go to none. And so it undoes that one and let's create another filter view, I'm going to come and click on this right arrow again, say new filter view. And let's replicate a filter I did with the other example on regular filtering. Let's come to category and select just the one and three. So there's that one. And then let's select scores that are greater than three. So greater than three. All right. And now I've got those cases and I can come over here and name that one as category one and three score greater than three. And so that is saved as a filter too. So when I come back here, I have both of those available to me and the ability to turn it all off. So if I want to go see just the first 10 cases, I click like this, I get those. If I want my compound selection, I click like this, and it's different. And if I want to have the entire data set, I simply click none. And all of these are useful. I use it all the time when I have to find cases that have not yet been resolved, and it allows me to see the open cases. And I just select down to those and I'm able to focus on them exclusively. So it's a wonderful way to save the view into your data and also to be able to share it with others. And so that again, allows you to sort through your data, focus on the particular cases that are most important and get your analysis done.